Hey there and good Saturday to you. Isaac Williams here in the Weather Center for Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott. Here's your WVOA weather webcast. We are talking severe weather chances later this afternoon, more towards tonight and into the first part of your Sunday. Let's time things out for you on the future cast. Warm southerly flow off the Gulf of Mexico going to get us into the middle, maybe even upper 70s this afternoon. Certainly atypical for the first day of winter for mid to late December across central Alabama. Here's that future cast of, again, the highest severe weather threat for now. Looks like it's going to be over portions of Mississippi in association with the developing squall line. At 4 o'clock, again, we'll be dealing with a couple of isolated showers. I think most of us will stay dry through the day. But as we head towards, like, say, 12 or 1 o'clock, so we're looking at the pre-dawn hours of Sunday morning, squall line gets in here, damaging wind gusts. The primary concern, however, some tornadoes cannot be ruled out as well as this line shifts across the area from west to east. I do think the highest severe weather threat is going to be along and west of Interstate 65. As storms move east of Interstate 65, I think the dynamic support begins to pull out towards the northeast. And again, storms should begin a weakening trend, but I want to emphasize that the entire area is under a severe weather risk tomorrow night from about 9 p.m. in the west through at least around 6 a.m. in the east. And you can see by 4 o'clock just a couple lingering showers over the eastern sections of the area. And hey, by Monday, Monday, we should finally get back into some nice sunshine, some cooler weather after this inclement weather that we're going to be dealing with tonight and into the first part of tomorrow. Here's that seven-day planning forecast. After Sunday, we, did, we get some sunshine back in here. Nice Christmas day, 53 degrees for the afternoon high temperature after a morning low in the upper 20s. But no white Christmas. But again, we can be thankful for a, a calm weather week after some severe weather tonight and into tomorrow morning. As a look at the forecast, be sure to keep it right here on WVUATV.com. We'll keep you up, updated online, Twitter, Facebook, again on our weather blog as well. And should any county in our viewing area go under a tornado warning, we will go on and stay on the air, give you wall-to-wall -wall coverage until the tornado warning expires.